Hello, I am Andy Schnicker, and today I'd like to talk to you about my volleyball test battery. This test battery will help players who are aspiring to reach the college level assess their skills and set goals. Volleyball is a very dynamic sport and requires a well-rounded physique to excel. A few of the more important things a volleyball player should have is an explosive lower body, powerful and stable core, and good agility. Many volleyball players make the mistake of not specializing their workout for the sport and end up doing a routine that focuses on getting bigger muscles instead of improving performance. First, the first test in my test battery will assess speed and we'll be using the 40 yard dash. This test is used to measure linear sprinting speed and acceleration. Acceleration is important for volleyball and is highlighted when doing skills such as approaching to attack the ball or chasing a shank pass down. This test is run by having the test performer stand on one end of a long flat surface that has been measured out to find the 40 yard mark and having the test administrator stand with a stopwatch at the 40 yard mark. On the test administrator's go, the performer will sprint as fast as he or she can through the 40 yard mark and the test administrator will record when the performer reached it. For the next test, we will be testing agility and it will be using the T-test. The T-test is used to measure four directional agility and body control. Agility and body control are very important skills to have in volleyball. They are especially important on defense when making lateral move or dive to get a dig. To set up the T-test, you will put four cones in the shape of a T, the center line being 10 yards in length and the top cones being five yards away from the center. The test administrator will then time the test, test performer to see how fast they can sprint to the middle cone, shuffle to the left cone, shuffle all the way over to the right cone, shuffle back to the middle, and backpedal back to the starting line. The next test will be the one rep back squat test, and it will be used to test strength. One rep back squat max test is used to measure absolute or relative lower body strength. Lower body strength is not seen as super important for volleyball performance, but it can help increase power, which is very important for volleyball. For this test, the performer will start with low weight and work up to their one rep max back squat. Additional personnel will be needed as spotters. Their score will either be the heaviest they could lift with good form, which would be their absolute strength, or the heaviest, heaviest they could lift divided by their weight, which would be their relative strength. The next thing that we'll be testing is power, and we'll be using the vertical jump test. The vertical jump test is used to measure lower body, ver lower body vertical power. This skill is one of the cornerstones of volleyball performance, performance. It is highlighted when jumping up to attack the ball, jumping to block a ball, or when doing a jump serve. To perform this test, the administrator will first measure the performer's standing vertical reach and then have them perform a no approach jump to try and displace as many slides on the vertex as possible. The amount of slides displaced will tell the administrator how high the performer touched. They will then subtract this number by how high they touched without jumping. Three trials are performed and the best of them is their score. The next test is the push up test, which will be used to be test which will be used to test their muscular endurance. Push-up tests will be used to evaluate the endurance of the upper arm, chest, and shoulder. This skill is important for attackers in volleyball, especially if the match goes to five sets and they are taking a lot of swings. Good endurance can be the difference between closing out strong and having a tired and weak swing at the end of the game. To perform this test, the performer will do as many push-ups chest to floor as they can in one minute. They get one trial and the number of push-ups they got will be recorded. The final test will be used to test flexibility and it's the sit and reach test. The test this test is used to measure static flexibility of the lower back, hip, and hamstring musculature. Flexibility is important in volleyball, not as much for import for performance, but for injury prevention. This test is performed by having the performer sit with their flat their feet flat against the sit and reach box with no shoes on and their knees locked straight. The performer then reaches two to four times forward, moving the slide ruler and holding the last reach for two seconds. The most distant mark that they attained will be recorded as their score.